How is the relationship with the McGuigans now? Oh, it's dead. Is it fucked now? No, there's, there's no relationship. Mm-hmm. I'm just out of a court case with him, um, which was settled. Um, it was a sort of settled, so no one can say they won or anything. Mm-hmm. But what I can say is I'm very fucking happy with the settlement. Yeah. I can say that. So, um, but there's no relationship. I fucking despise them, all of them, hate them, and um just just the way it is it's sad that that, it is always, sad. that always happens though it with boxers happen and boxing. trainers and but when it comes to money and fucking this, people just why is that but again I, look i like to think of myself as a nice guy and i mm-hmm. trust everybody and like i love these guys like i had shane and jake mcguigan as groomsmen at my wedding i was a groomsman at shane's wedding but so like brothers basically yeah yeah pretty much um but I have a deep hatred for them now, and all of them, and I wouldn't fucking piss on them if they're on fire. I genuinely mean I'd hate them. How was that then to start a new camp with different trainers? Um, Does that give you a new lease of life though? Or it, is it hard to get it, different I, tactics? I think it did, but I think, um, so Jim, when, I, when I left the McGuigans and I had no one for maybe two months and I was thinking about what trainer I was going to use, my dad actually suggested Jimmy Moore. Like I hadn't even thought about Jimmy Moore because at the time he was only training Tommy Coyle, who mm-hmm. was his one fighter. Um, I had thought of, I had, Adam Booth was in my head as one of them. He's um, a great trainer. Great trainer. Um, who else? Pete Taylor, who's Katie Taylor's dad. Yeah. And Ishmael Salas, who trained David Hay and stuff for a while. They were the three guys that was in my head. My dad suggested Jimmy Moore, and I went, that's a fucking good shout. I was in, I was in Vegas for Mayweather McGregor, and I phoned Jimmy and said, look, you'd be interested in training me. And I went there thinking, I'll do a week with him, I'll do a week with Booth, do a week with yeah. Taylor and a week with Salas and see who, who fits like best. Like a trial. But I just trained with Jimmy, and I just said, I'm happy here. I like, mm-hmm. I like, I like what they're talking about. I like the direction they want me to go or like the things they're saying and they're fucking good people and I'm genuinely delighted that I made yeah. that move because they're I I never enjoyed boxing when I was with the McGuigans like I there's interviews of me talking about retiring like I can't wait till I'm 30 because I'm going to fucking retire I hate this game was it the training that was hard? just training too hard like for, for the quick fight I done 220 rounds of sparring I used to spar welterweights and light middleweights have these gym wars and just be fucked all the time but, but then would you have won those titles if you didn't well, do that? Well, I know, that? but I, I think when when you're younger, you can get away with that. Mm-hmm. But as you get older, you can't you can't do that anymore. Like Barry McGuigan retired when he was 28 nine, or yeah. nine, 29. Um, and he talks about, like he, he's spoken to me about how hard he trained. And he, put, himself out, and he puts it down to being burnt out mm-hmm. at a young age. Like 29 is a young age yeah, to that's, retire that's as a your fighter. Prime, I believe her. Yeah, so he... He knows because he he thinks he burnt himself out, but the training for me was similar to to what mm-hmm. he was doing. So it was yeah. a bit contradictory, a, a wee mm-hmm. bit. But um, look, what they were Barry's a very knowledgeable boxing person. Like he knows fucking boxing inside out. Um, Shane is a very good trainer as well, I believe, and I've I've openly said that. But um, you know, I'll, I'll always be honest and I'll say that they're they're very good boxing people but I just I just don't like them 